how many of you people still owe or are still making payments? Do you have any idea up there? See, I used to be a county creditor, and that could be made available. I don't. They're set up over what ten years were they? Do you know any of you who are on this council? And you know these are the amounts for payoff right now. Is uh, well five thousand three hundred fifty-one dollars that was for June. There is a second million. That ain't not on there. The uh, four hundred and thirty-two dollars already on this, and then there's another one. Yeah, like I say, you won't get paid for that. And that's just. <laughs> You can assess it, but, you know, I would be probably interested in paying that if I had to, if I would acquire deed, because I believe that the mowing does need to be done in any community. I don't know if it's worth 400 bucks, but... <laughs> okay, so the, the lien for the uh, street assessment that preceded your purchase of the tax package. It stuck it on there, is what they did. Okay, I wasn't but, real but, happy but, with Vicki over that. I, I made mention of it. But, but first it was, year, they stuck it on with the taxes. Mm -hmm. I don't think you should do that. To be truthfully legal, I don't think they should do that. It should have been separate. <coughs> okay, so did you, had you purchased the, or the, or paid the taxes on it? prior to that lien or, or after the lien was attached? Well, the first year that I bought it, they snuck the special on with it. Then I went ahead, I think, and paid it the following year, didn't I? Sure did. I think I did. But then I seen to it, ooh, I looked at the property. They say they snuck it on to it. I mean, yeah. you didn't supposed know, to be, it's, it's supposed you didn't to know be anything seven. about this? <laughs> no. You're supposed to put an asterisk when you publish them in the paper that this is a special assessment. They put it with the taxes. And being me, I didn't know the property. I should have. Part of it's my fault too. But uh, I should have investigated the property better. And now your assessor is doing a wonderful job. I commend him. He has new updated software where you can get an actual picture and everything, and it's a whole lot better. Your county and Shelby County probably are the two best in this area right now. Even better than Crawford County. A lot better, because it shows everything. But up to that point, it wasn't real good unless you really did some thorough searching. And that's how I guess. Well, that shoe store is a different thing. And that isn't right either, because that's Mr. One Shalotta Carroll. And he's a private person that did tax sales certificates. And he had the deed to it. Once you take deed, I think you should be fully responsible for properties in a community. It's not right. But he's an attorney, and that's attorneys for you. <laughs> But I know it's a rock and a hard place. It really is. But I look at it, if I pay that special assessment, along with what I've already got invested, see, to be truthfully honest, I have already written it off on my taxes, the amount that I paid, the three thousand some dollars. I just figured it was a bum wrap. I goofed up. Partly was my fault, and I accept the responsibility. I should have paid him, knowing that this house was in that bad of shape. So I look for the person to redeem him. I've never gotten taken deed to anything yet. I don't want to take deed to anything. I'm looking out as an investment and as a way for the city to recoup their taxes, the schools, townships, whoever else is on the taxing assessment role. How much are the annual taxes? Well, they are down quite a bit now. They're still too high. I didn't pay this last year. It would take us forever to even recoup that $5,000 on it, even if they got back on tax roll. Oh, uh, it's going to take a while. Yeah, by the three properties here, 
to have the property alone evaluated at eighty five or eighty four hundred dollars for those three lots. No, I'm just I'm saying there is some value there. Yeah, the bare lots. Do you have a lot of new homes being built in Sac City in that location? There's, not that's really not a very good, good location. That I'm going to tell you, you need a lot of dirt work. I visited with the neighbor that lives back up in the field there. Very nice lady. Nice lady. To be truly honest, what I would do if I would take the to it is sell those two back lots to her for pasture. That's where they belong. Fix it right on to her farm. If it could be done, if the city would so, you know, so wish, just put that right in as pasture. That's about what it's worth. Sitting in behind that house, you can't get to it. She ain't going to let you get to it from her driveway. And I wouldn't want her to. And then the house is kind of stuck in there. You can't get up in that driveway. It's got to be something fierce in the wintertime. I would want to call that in. Unless you guys have a better idea, you know, to think that it's worth. I don't think it's worth only five hundred dollars. You got to take the house out of there. You're going to have to pay for the house to take it to the landfill. There'd be all kinds of landfill fees. It's got asphalt shingles. You got trouble with. And I don't think it's very good on the inside. I I have been in it. Anybody been close to it? You guys haven't been in it for a prowler call or anything? How about dead for animals in there? No, just the grass, that's the only call I've been Yeah, <laughs> yeah. And it's just, it isn't full of weeds though, is it? It's mostly just grass. Yeah. The weeds are choked out by now. Yeah. The weeds are choked out by now. It's just grown in there. Well, we are, are there questions or is there something that we aren't getting very far here? Or do you have additional questions? Do you want to look into issues? Um, You'll never collect that, I'll tell you that right now. Good luck from whoever. Because the real estate ain't got no money. Or nothing. And now the special is separate on the tax roll, so they can't sneak it in. So there's nobody that buys a special assessment. They'd have to be crazy in the head. But I'm, I'll never buy one. And anybody that knows anything about taxes on a tax sale will not buy a special assessment. So you'll never get it. Unless somebody would buy the lots, you know, and want to build. But that's going to be a high-priced lot because you're going to have to give it to you free to pay an additional $5,000 on top of it for a lot that doesn't sit very good. It just, I wouldn't build a new house in there. Maybe you guys would, but I wouldn't. That way it sits up in there. You're going to have to take a lot of dirt out, and then you're going to get your neighbors all grouped up <coughs> And they'll be mad at you. Tell me no. what do you want to do? Yep. And I don't need an answer now. Okay. If you want to visit with you, you know. And I'm not pushing you because to be truthfully honest, the only reason I'm doing it is because I had a person call me and was interested in the in the house. And she was down and out, I could tell it. She didn't she didn't have no money. I don't think we're ready to make a decision. I know. Oh, I'm sure it's so. No, it's a major decision. But I, you know, like I say, I'm not out to get your community because I've got other properties. I got the Sunwise. I've got this trailer, and I won't be taking these to that one because I want it cleaned up. And uh, I also have another one up here, I guess. That's I've got one with the old tire, the old tire, the old tire uh, place. Yeah, and that thing, your assessor's got way assessed too high. He needs to have a good visit with. Okay, I, I really think we need to yeah. move on. Yeah, we will. You bet.